Another brick fan with a Brickheads review. This is Peter Venkman and Slimer. This is set 41622, was released in July 2018, has 228 pieces and cost about $20 when it was released. As you can see on the box, these are Brickheads number 62 and 63, and these are based on the Ghostbusters movie. Let's go ahead and build this set and take a look at the finished Brickheads. Here we have the two completed Brickheads with Peter Venkman, our Ghostbuster, on the left and then Slimer on the right. Slimer's kind of a fat, gluttonous type ghost that slimed Peter Venkman in the movie. So you see the slime here on his forehead and on his jacket here. Let's take a look at Peter first. So taking a look at Peter Venkman, we see this really good printing here of this green slime on his forehead. And I like the, how they shape this widow's peak in the front. It really does remind me of Bill Murray, who was the actor who played Peter Venkman. The uniform here looks great. You see Venkman as his name badge here, the silver belt. The tan jumpsuit here with the black shirt underneath. Going around the side, you see some more of that hair built up around sides here. Here's his ear. There's a standard brickhead hand kind of configuration here. Moving around to the back, you see another printed piece here on the back of the backpack that he has here. This is the, this is the device they use to fight and capture ghosts. There is a bunch of different detailing here. So there's an ingot piece here in the black. Another grill piece here. There's a stud on either side. This is a two by two round tile that's printed. Then we have a whip piece here to represent the wires that go to the attachment here in the front that is used to shoot at the ghosts. A nice feature here is this other printed tile with the Ghostbusters logo on the side. You can see right there on that printed tile. So that turned out nicely as well. Overall, a really good figure and a great representation of Peter Venkman from the Ghostbusters. Next up, we have Slimer. And you, Slimer here is carrying a couple of hot dogs. So there's one here in a bun and one just a sausage by itself. This mouth here is a printed piece on a one by three tile. I like how they kept consistent with this rounded shaping for his cheeks starting with these quarter rounds in the front and then they full round one and then the rounded two by four plates here in the back very smooth around the rest of him he's all done in this nice light green color there might be just a little bit of the gray showing through from the stud on the side pieces that are used inside of slimer he has these two round two by two tiles in the back that I suppose you could look at his butt cheeks if you want to, just for that shaping. It's kind of a comedic look there for him. 
both sides are done pretty much the same. So it's all tiles around the outside with the exception of this arch here. And then his hands are both facing forward, all the same color. Got a couple of layers of his gut here. And the use of this clear two by two brick here on the bottom lifts him up off the stand, which gives him that look of floating in the air as you would expect from a ghost. It's very monochromatic. It's all done in this green with the exception of this print and the eyes in the front. But I think it's a good representation of the character. Looking at these two figures overall, I think they go really well together. It's a very good two-pack. Ghostbusters was an iconic movie back in the 80s. There was a remake done recently with an all-female cast, or at least a female set of Ghostbusters. And there has been talk of another movie being released at some point in the future. The build techniques on these were quite good. Lots of good printed pieces. Like I said, there's this forehead piece, the prints here for his jacket. I really like this little tile on his shoulder with the Ghostbusters logo on it. Slimer has this nice mouth print here done on that one by three tile. Come, when it comes to value, this is pretty standard for brickheads. There's 228 pieces for $20. So, so two full size brickheads, the two full, the two full-size Brickheads packs are generally priced at $20. A single Brickhead pack is generally $10, so you don't get a discount for buying them in a pack like this, but it, they don't charge you any more, obviously. So I think the pricing is pretty fair, especially if you look at the price per piece count. But just in general, Brickheads have always been priced this way, and I think it's been pretty fair. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on these Brickheads. I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I left a link to my Brickheads review playlist up here on the screen.